currently um, 50 and pregnant, but I had a birthday yesterday, so I'm currently 51 and pregnant. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video, it is an interesting video. Today's video, we're talking about the 51 years old woman who is pregnant with her second baby. So apparently this woman, she's 51 or she was 50 when she got pregnant, but now she just turned 51. And she came to share the news talking about how 51 and pregnant. And I feel like that's almost what our content is all about. I already posted a video of a 51 years old or a 50 something years old woman older woman to having a child but that was a black woman so hearing this woman talk about this and she was referring to a video of another creator another woman talking about how pregnancy is hard and she was like you know what yes pregnancy is hard but it's not that bad at 51 i'm just tired i'm just da 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 and if you're a woman, you know, there's this um, thing being said that, you know what, being pregnant at 51 or being in your, even in your 40s, in your late 30s, is at high risks and all that. But 51, being pregnant, it's crazy to me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to share, because I have a lot of things to say about this video. But let's go hear what she has to say and being pregnant at 51. Actually, she got pregnant at 15, now she's 51, okay? So she's sharing her experience and what she think about being pregnant at 51 with her second baby, what it feels like. Anyway, guys, let's go check out what she has to say, then we'll come back and talk more. I'm sitting here in my daughter's pickup line from school, and I just realized I have to change my little bio um, description on my page. It says currently... Um, 50 and pregnant, but I had a birthday yesterday, so I'm currently 51 and pregnant. And for all those wondering, I feel pretty good. I'm tired. Um, but I saw this video and maybe I'll tag the creator and she's just talking about like, she's real tired. Like making a baby is hard work. Like, and sometimes I don't give my permission, myself permission to complain because I'm like, okay, it's your, you got pregnant at 50, uh, you got it. You put yourself in this position. Um, but every pregnant woman gets tired. Um, and at some point I had my daughter, uh, my four year old was up between two and four thirty AM last night. So yeah, I'm tired. Uh, so what, um, that doesn't make me a failure at, uh, 51 and being pregnant, uh, for being tired. It makes me normal. It makes me a normal pregnant woman. So okay. Um, other than that, I'm doing pretty good. I feel good. And, uh, I have a doctor checkup on Friday, which will be 30 weeks. And so I'll give an update then. Uh, and I'll change my bio to 51 now and pregnant. Okay. So let me know what you think about what she said. I'm being pregnant at 51. What are your thoughts about this? I know some people, because I know I have some older women that don't have kids by choice, like going child-free by choice, but also there are also some people that want to have kids, or some people that just wonder about being pregnant, is it safe, can I have kids later on in life, even though now I don't want kids, what it feels like? Let me know what you think about what she said and her being pregnant at 51. What are your thoughts? I have so much to say, and this got people's reaction. But we're just going to really keep it short and sweet today. Let's go check out people's reaction on this. Then I'll come back and share more of my thoughts. But let me know what you think about being pregnant at 51. And what are your thoughts for any woman to get pregnant at that age? Anyway, guys, let's go check people's thoughts. Then we'll come back and talk more. Hey. Um, 50 and pregnant, but I had a birthday yesterday, so I'm currently. Yeah, hold on. See, I'm trying to tell my personal business, but uh, I've been in menopause for, for a few years. And this just captured a level of fear in my soul that I never even knew was there. I got to go have a conversation with my doctor. I need to make sure she ch checks me out again to make sure everything don't work. I don't want to be a reproducer. Okay. I don't. That is... Woo! <laughs> okay. Jesus! Yesterday, so I'm currently 51 and pregnant. And for all those wondering... There is so much I am feeling right now. First off, 
you must have made God mad for him to what? do that to you. That is... Uh, I can't even fathom. I'm 54. I couldn't have even imagined being pregnant after the age of 40. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally speechless. Like, kudos to you. You'll be in my prayers. So, I'm currently 51 and pregnant. Yeah, you just said the weird thing went straight to the next galaxy <laughs> with it. What dimension am I living in? 51 pregnant. Um, 50 and pregnant, but I had a birthday yesterday, so I'm currently 51. I will be 43 next month. And if I was pregnant, I would jump into oncoming traffic. Birthday yesterday, so I'm currently 51 and pregnant and from... What? I rebuke that. Never in my life. Oh, no. <laughs> Get off my page. I'm sitting here in my daughter's pickup line from school. I, I, I didn't know that was something that could happen. I mean, biologically, um, um, when I was younger, there was this, this play, like this gospel play that my parents loved. It was called Your Arms Are Too Short to Box with God. And if at my age, I'm in my 40s, and if I became pregnant hold on hold on that's better if i became pregnant if i was 50 or 51 and pregnant your my arms too <laughs> short to box with god but baby god is getting god oh, is I getting did. okay come here come here god come so close <laughs> because the way <laughs> the way the way that's not mm -mm. Mm -mm. For all those wondering, I feel pretty good. I'm tired. And let me be the first to tell you, you're going to get a lot more tired. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Mm -hmm. Tired? -er? I'm going to be 53 in December. My wife is 28. We have a two-year-old and a one-year-old. And then before I met my wife, I have three kids. So I have a 24-year-old, a 19-year-old, and a 13-year-old. They're back in the United mm -hmm. States. Um, I um, am, We're living in Morocco for the year while I do a fellowship. So my wife is here. We have a two-year-old who was born July 2021 and a one-year-old born July 2022. They're the next best things, the twins. And when I tell you they keep us going, they keep us going. I'm always tired <laughs> every single day. I work three days a week at the university. I teach four hours each one of those days. I dread coming back to the United States where I have to start waking up at 5, 5.30 in the morning, not getting home till 5, 5.30 in the afternoon, and doing this redundancy every single day during the week. Here in Morocco, I get to relax, get to walk them to school, get to pick them up from school, spend some time, and I'm still tired. Just imagine when we go back to the United States, how bad it's going to be. I'm going to dread, dread, dread again having to get up that early and not get enough sleep. Here, we go to bed at 10 o'clock, like clockwork. I cannot imagine all the things that we're going to have to do when we get back to the States. Fixing lunch, clothes, so on and so forth. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love being a father. This is what I was put here on the earth to do. Have five kids. But I tell you one thing, I'm going to be working forever. I don't know if you saw my video of how much um, student loan debt I have. I'm going to be working forever. I'm going to be 67 year old, walking oh. to graduations like it's nothing. Um, but wouldn't trade it for the world. My tiredness is a happiness at the end of the day because I look at my kids and I truly okay. adore them. So it's a blessing to be tired. Good luck to you as well on your pregnancy. Okay, 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 good luck to you guys, so let me know your own thought down in the comment section if you feel like this is a great idea to get pregnant at 51 or you feel like age doesn't matter, you can get pregnant at any time or you feel like mm, this is not it. I feel like people's response to it was more comic to me, like it was very funny for me, their own um, response, but I have something serious to say about this, but I want to know your own thought down in the comment section. So go ahead and share your thought.
But please keep it respectful as always here on this channel, okay? You're on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. We just have conversation. We share videos like this for conversation's sake, not to drag anybody or call. Or You guys know how we do it here, okay? Anyway, guys. But before I go into this video, someone asked about this outfit and saying this color looks good on me. And I know, yes, it's out of topic, but let me quickly address it. It's just a booboo gown. If you know what it is, I'll take a picture and post it on the community tab. But yeah, it's just a booboo gown and I love it. It's just my comfy house clothes I wear every time. So when you see me like, you know, I'm in my comfortable state. <laughs> anyway, guys, so here's my own thought about the 51 years old and being pregnant. For me personally, it's a no-no. I feel like the world, like how many people, 51, if she's 51 now, she's pregnant. So obviously she'll give birth to the child when she's 51. And then um, let's even say she lives like the child, she lives like another 30 years. So that's, she'll be 81. But we all know how life is very, very finicky now. Anybody, things just happen really fast and quick. And choosing to bring a child at that age. I know there was a debate some time ago when I posted the other video of an older woman to giving birth to a child. I know some people are saying that, oh, you don't have kids young, don't have kids old. You do this, you do that, either way. But for me, and that conversation of, so when is the right time to have kids? Having kids when you're too young, you're not matured, you don't really know yourself. It's not good for the child because you're going to pass on trauma to this child. But also having kids when you already know yourself, you've done the healing, or you're grown, you like, you're grown, grown, it's good. But for me, I feel like there's a middle ground to everything. The same way they say too much of ev everything is bad. I feel like having kids in your late 20s, 30s, late 30s is still okay. But it won't. 40s, I was like, okay. But that's, you're stretching it for me. But 50, I'm just like, why? Why are you doing that? Those are for people that want kids. But for some of us that don't want kids, like, I can't even find some why you are even putting yourself through that one thing a lot of people don't know and i feel like this is a conversation people don't have frequently especially women they don't tell the younger people but this obviously is an older woman how stressful and how life-threatening having a child or being pregnant is i feel like women we don't talk about this good enough i've almost lost my life because of pregnancy before and so somebody will be like oh destiny you're so passionate about like yes because i'm talking first and experience of how i almost like the doctor looked at me and said you're dying literally because of what because i got pregnant <laughs> like literally so for me when i see people at that age you're just risking it especially women and that's why i always preach like always telling women like you know what be very intentional about having kids because that pregnancy that baby you're thinking you want to have might just be that thing that will take it i'm not trying to scare anybody but that is that was my reality like i had one and the crazy the stupid thing is that i still got pregnant again after that scare of me almost dying when the like yeah i was that dumb but come back to the story is that we are so carried away about the emotional part and all that and all the how it makes you feel the dopamine and all that rather than taking thinking logically about that how are you like you're 51 already once you get older your your energy level is you're tired i'm almost 14 a couple of months and the level of tiredness i i get i'm not i don't used to be i don't have that energy i have when in my in my 20s in my late in my 30s early 30s i don't have that energy anymore I am tired. My day feels so long and tiring. So now even bringing a child where you're not going to be very handsome, you're going to be 100% tired because whether people like it or not, one, being pregnant is, like I said, is a 50-50 chance. You might make it, you might not make it. It is what it is. Having the kids, raising a child, it's hard work. And I've shared a lot of videos about mothers, mothers literally saying it, and mothers even in the comment section has shared their experience about how having a child is, uh, how raising a child and having a child, it's really hard. So for me, I really don't know why she uh, choose to put herself into this. But everybody have their reason. Like I said, yeah, on the, like we always have in this com in the, on this channel is that it's okay for us to be different and have different style, different way of life and all that. I wish her all the best getting pregnant and loving it. Like if she loves, if she likes it, I love it for her. But for me personally, it's not something that I would do to myself. Getting pregnant at 51 It's something that if somebody asks for my opinion, I know she didn't ask for my opinion. It's not something I would do. So 
Let me know if it's something you would do, get pregnant at 51, if ever you feel like you want to have a child. But I know, like, for me, I feel like I already have enough kids. My sister kids were good. We're, like, I'm good. I'm in my 40s. I'm just like... And I've said the only reason why I want kids in a couple of my videos. And if I'm going to ever, I only have a couple, like, less than 12 months to do that. I feel like once I clock 41, I'm just like, whoop. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Because the truth is that I'm really loving my life, not having any kids. Like, I'm loving it, literally. Like, I have my time. I do whatever, whatever I want to want. Um, I feel like I have more disbox money. I have sisters that have kids. I have brothers that have kids. I feel like my money is for me. Like, I just take care of myself. I know that I'm able to travel more without thinking of where to put the kids, children's school fees. I know those extra things. I do a lot of things. Like, I take care of my nieces. Like, I, I'm that auntie that I'm, I'm the favorite auntie ever. But... Having kids at 51, nah, it's not for me. It's not for me, honestly. It's not for me. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we'll do it in a respectful way. Go on and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We are banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that'll be you supporting this channel and this girl yeah with that all said guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video do see